friends, the world cannot live without the Arctic. It affects every living thing on earth and acts as a virtual thermostat reflecting sunlight and cooling the planet. Climate change is reshaping Arctic shipping routes, creating new opportunities for trade and resource extraction while also posing significant environmental and geopolitical challenges. As the Arctic continues to warm and ice cover continues to diminish, the region's role in global shipping is likely to expand, requiring careful management and international cooperation to balance economic benefits with environmental protection. Climate change is having a profound impact on Arctic shipping routes, reshaping the dynamics of maritime navigation in the region. How climate change is going to influence Arctic shipping routes, let us examine. As the global temperature rise, the extent and thickness of Arctic sea ice have decreased significantly. The reduction in sea ice is opening up new shipping routes that were previously inaccessible. The shrinking ice cover has made it possible for ships to navigate through parts of Arctic Ocean during the summer months, which were once blocked by thick ice. The Northwest Passage, which runs along the northern coast of Canada, is becoming more navigable due to reduce ice cover. This route connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and can shorten shipping time between Europe and Asia. The Northern Sea Route, which runs along Russian North Coast, is increasingly accessible. This route offers a potential faster alternative to traditional shipping lanes through the Suez Canal. The new Arctic routes can significantly reduce shipping distances between major ports, lowering fuel consumption and shipping cost. For example, the Northern Sea Route can cut the distance between Europe and East Asia by up to 40% compared to the traditional routes. The Arctic region is rich in natural resources including oil, gas and minerals. The opening of the new shipping routes makes it easier to transport these resources to the global market. Countries and companies are investing in Arctic infrastructure and shipping capabilities to capitalize on the new trade opportunities. The opening of the shipping route increased the risk of oil spills, pollution and disturbances to the sensitive Arctic maritime ecosystem. Species such as polar bear, seals and whales are particularly vulnerable to these impacts. Warmer temperature and increased shipping traffic may facilitate the introduction of invasive species into the Arctic, disrupting local ecosystems. Reducing ice cover decreases the Earth's albedo reflectivity, leading to great absorption of solar energy and further warming. This creates a feedback loop that accelerates ice melt and climate change. As Arctic routes become more accessible, countries with Arctic territories such as Russia, Canada and the United States are strengthening their territorial claims and expanding their presence in the region. The strategic importance of Arctic shipping route is increasing with the nations seeking to secure their interest and influence over the region. International agreements and regulations are needed to manage shipping traffic, protect the environment and ensure safe navigation. Organizations like the Arctic Council play a role in fostering cooperation among the Arctic nations. The increasing accessibility of Arctic route is driving the development of new port facilities and infrastructure to support shipping activities and resource extraction. Enhanced shipping traffic in Arctic necessitates improved search and rescue capabilities and emergency response system to ensure the safety of vessels operating in the region. Even with the reduced sea ice, navigational hazards such as icebergs and uncharted waters pose risk to ships. Advanced technologies and icebreaker vessels are required to navigate safely. Arctic climate condition can be highly variable with sudden change in weather and ice condition. This variability can affect shipping schedules 
and safety. Friends, the geopolitical jostling over the Arctic has intensified as climate change opens up new opportunities and challenges in the region. The melting of Arctic Sea is revealing new shipping routes, resource deposits and strategic advantages, leading to increased competition and strategic maneuvers among Arctic and non-Arctic nations. Here you can have an in-depth uh, look at the key aspects of this geopolitical competition. Friends, this route connects the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean via the northern coast of Canada. It offers a shorter alternate to traditional shipping lines, reducing travel time between Europe and Asia. Running along Russia's north coast, this route provides a potential faster shipping corridor between Europe and East Asia, bypassing traditional routes like Suez Canal. The Arctic is estimated to hold a significant percentage of world's undiscovered oil and natural gas reserves. The potential for resources extraction has heightened interest from energy companies and national governments. The region also has a vast deposit of minerals including rare earth elements which are critical for technology and industrial applications. Russia has been particularly proactive in asserting its claim in the Arctic. It views the region as a vital area for energy resources, strategic military positioning and economic development. Russia has increased its military presence in the Arctic establishing new bases, deploying advanced icebreakers, and conducting extensive naval exercises. The Russian government has outlined ambitious plan for developing architect infrastructure, including ports and shipping routes to capitalize on the melting ice. The U.S. government has significant interest in the Arctic, including national security, resource exploration, and environmental protection. It also seeks to ensure freedom of navigation and maintain a strategic balance with Russia. The U.S. is focusing on enhancing its Arctic capability, including upgrading its icebreaker fleet and increasing its military presence in the region. Canada has a strong interest in asserting its sovereignty over the Northwest Passage and other Arctic territories. It has been actively involved in diplomatic efforts to solidify its claim. Canada also emphasizes environmental protection and the right of indigenous people in the Arctic. Norway is actively involved in managing its Arctic resources and maintaining a strong presence in the region. It emphasizes sustainable development and environmental protection. Norway's Arctic territories, including the Svalabad archipelago, which is strategically located near key shipping routes and resource areas. Although not an Arctic state, China has expressed its significant interest in the region, positioning itself as a near Arctic state. It has been investing in the Arctic research and seeking partnership with Arctic nations. China views the Arctic as potential extension of its Belt and Road Initiative, exploring opportunities for trade and resource access. United Nations Convention on the Law of Sea provides a framework for maritime claims and disputes. Arctic states are using this framework to assert their claim over the extended continental shelf, which could potentially include the Arctic seabed Countries are required to submit scientific evidence to support their claims for extended co continental shelves. The Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf reviews these submissions. The Arctic Council is an intergovernmental forum that promotes cooperation among the Arctic states and indigenous communities on issues such as environmental protection, sustainable development and scientific research. Non-Arctic states including China, Japan and the European Union hold observer status in the Arctic Council and contribute to discuss on Arctic affairs. 
The accelerated melting of Arctic ice poses significant environmental challenges including changes to maritime ecosystem, sea level rise and impact on the indigenous communities. Indigenous people in the Arctic have vested interest in how the region regions resources are managed and are advocating for their rights and involvement in the decision making process. The competition for resources, strategic advantages and shipping routes is likely to increase as Arctic ice continues to melt and new opportunities emerge. Balancing national interest with international cooperation will be crucial in managing the geopolitical dynamics of the Arctic. Continued dialogue and adherence to international agreements will be essential for maintaining stability in the region. The geopolitical jostling over the Arctic is driven by the region's strategic significance, resource potential and the impact of climate change. As the Arctic becomes more accessible, the competition among nations is intensifying with implication of international relations, environmental protection and indigenous rights. Navigating these complexities will require careful diplomacy, strategic planning, and a commitment to a collaborative governance. Arctic exceptionalism is a concept that refers to unique status of Arctic region and the belief that it should be treated differently from other regions due to its distinct environmental, geopolitical, and social characteristics. This concept encompasses several dimensions including environmental protection, geopolitical strategies, and indigenous rights. Here are detailed explorations of Arctic exceptionalism. The Arctic is an extremely fragile environment characterized by its ice cover seas, permafrost, and unique ecosystems. The region is highly sensitive to climate change with rapid warming and melting ice having significant impacts on global weather patterns and sea levels. Arctic exceptionalism often emphasizes the need for stringent environmental protection measures to preserve the region's delicate ecosystem and mitigate the impact of human activities. The Arctic serves as a critical indicator of global climate change, the rapid loss of sea ice, thawing of permafrost, and changes in wildlife patterns have far-reaching implications for global climate system. Given its global significance, there is a belief that the Arctic should be subject to international norms and agreements aimed at protecting the environment. The Arctic is rich in natural resources including oil, gas and minerals, as well as the potential new shipping routes like the Northwest Passage and the North Sea Route. The strategic importance of these resources has heightened geopolitical interest and competition. The region's strategic location has led to increased military presence and geopolitical maneuvering by Arctic and non-Arctic states. Arctic exceptionalism may call for special agreements to manage these geopolitical tensions. Indigenous people of Arctic such as the Sami, Inuits, and Chukichi have deep cultural and historical ties to the region. Their traditional knowledge and practices are integral to understanding and managing the Arctic environment. Arctic exceptionalism often emphasizes the importance of respecting indigenous rights, including land claims, self-determination, and participation in decision-making process related to Arctic governance. Indigenous communities are in increasingly recognized as key stakeholders in the Arctic policy discussions. Their inclusion helps ensure that policies are respectful of traditional knowledge and cultural practices. The concept of uh, Arctic exceptionalism is also reflected in public awareness and media coverage of Arctic's environmental and geopolitical issues. Advocacy groups often highlight the region's unique status 
and need for special protection and governance measures. Educational and informational campaigns play a role in fostering a broader understanding of architect exceptionalism and the importance of protecting the region from the impacts of climate change and geopolitical competition. Thank you so much.